Hey guys, Thunder E here. Now this is the Galaxy S21 Ultra and this is an S Pen. And you're thinking, do they work together? Yes, it does. And you're going, but that's for the Galaxy Note. Well, not anymore. So let's jump in and find out how. So this is the new S Pen. Um, it is larger in size and also feels like a regular pen. And as you can see, it's got a button on the side, which is similar to the standard S Pen you find with the Galaxy uh, Note series. Now, what's different with this pen and the regular S Pen is, of course, first of all, the size. So it is larger and longer and also has a bit more uh, volume space for grip. The other difference is that the regular S Pen from the Note series has Bluetooth functionality, giving you Bluetooth features, which you will not find in this S Pen. So that's something that is different there. Now, the S Pen itself costs $39. This is the silicon cover case. This case here retails with the S Pen for roughly around $79. It's a silicon case. It's got this nice side pocket here where you can put your S Pen in, so you can just slide it in there and drop. It doesn't charge it or anything like that. You just basically just have a housing for your S Pen and that's pretty much it. Uh, it's got, of course, cutouts for your camera. Everything's kind of uh, protected. As Flossie would say, it's got some resivity. So when you drop it, you can see you're fine. Nothing damages the screen there. So you've got that with this, uh, with this case. Uh, also with the case comes with the S Pen tips and the tip changer. So there are a ton of things you can do with the S Pen on the Galaxy S21 and you guys are probably wondering about that wallpaper. Yes, I have the links for you guys down below. But the first thing you notice is you do have that quick access menu for the S Pen right there, which you can basically tap and bring in. If we zoom in a little bit closer, you can see you've got a list of items of things you can do. You've got your notes, so you can go ahead and create notes on your S Pen. You can write, you can draw, you can say this is cool. And it feels like an S Pen, which is, which is nice. So you've got that ability there. You can go in, you can view all your notes directly. You can use Smart Select. So I can go ahead and select what I just wrote. Boom. And I can save that or I can do many things with it. All depends. So you can see the Smart Select tool. Let's go ahead, close this out. So you can pin that to screen. So I have that pinned to my screen. Go back to the whole screen. That's there. Uh, you've also got the ability to screen write. This is something definitely liked. You can write on screen. You can basically take a screenshot of something and then write on it. So if we were to do this properly, we go here. We see this article. We like it. We want to make some edits. You can go ahead and screen write and boom, then you can say, for instance, go in, select that, give me that pen, and then you can write on screen. So you've got that ability built in. And you have live messages, you can go ahead and do that. We can either pick from the gallery, pick this wonderful photo of Keanu Reeves, and then we hit done. And then we can, of course, write our live message. Boom, right there. So, I mean, you get the idea of what this can actually do. So you've got a ton of those features built in. Uh, Translate is there, you've got the pen up feature, you can write on your calendar, you can add more shortcuts as well. So you tap, that gives you a laundry list of things to add. So you can also add in things like your games, for instance and I do play a lot of Call of Duty, so I can add that here. So the next time I pull this up, Call of Duty is right there. So I've got that built in for me to do whatever I want to do. Now in terms of features for the S Pen, let's go into the menu system here. I believe we had it. We've got a bunch of things. I'm gonna have my notes float up there. So the S Pen is on, which means you can use the S Pen with your device. Uh, we've got show floating icons, that's one feature. Uh, you've got open air commands, so if you hover around something, you will see those commands. You've got the sounds, 
uh, and then you've got tips. Now if you scroll up, some of the shortcuts, which is basically this menu I showed you earlier. Um, we've got show pointer when hovering, uh, air view is also activated, creating notes with the pen button. So basically you use this button by pressing and hold to create notes and then tapping on the screen. So basically if I press and hold the button and I tap, my notes open up. So here you have it. So the note screen has come back up and then I can create my notes and create whatever I want to. So that's the only feature you have with the pen. Now, some of you are probably wondering, can you use the regular pen from the Galaxy Note series? And that's it here. So this is the pen for my Galaxy Notes, uh, Notes 20 Ultra. And yeah, as you can see, I can use the pen. And I will say this in terms of pen, this feels a little bit more precise than this. This, has, this feels like it's got a softer tip on the new S Pen, while the Notes 20 S Pen feels just a bit more like, like you're using a, a you know, fountain pen or something like that. So this feels, this feels just a little tighter, feels better. But in general though, this S Pen works really well. I do like the flow, I like the way it works, all that fun stuff in here. So I think this is a very useful, functional um, S Pen. Now, when it comes to the case with it, you can see how easy it is to have the housing here and taking out your, um, your S Pen. Uh, the case itself is much wider than standard cases. I'm gonna take my leather case here just to show you uh, some of the dimensions and we can bring that closer and you can see how it looks. So it's a, it's a thicker case. Um, you can see it's also got just a little extra space in here for housing the S Pen. Um, and it also feels just a little bit bulkier while using it. But still a nice case, I think, especially for this. I'd like to see some third, money, third party manufacturers make their cases for the S Pen in general. But I think using this pen, I think a lot of people will like it because functionality is pretty good. If you go into your applications, like you can see scrolling through um, Instagram here using, of course, the 120 Hertz display, it's maximum. Now, some of you are probably wondering, can you use the S Pen on the Galaxy S21? The answer is no. So this is limited to the Galaxy uh, S21 Ultra, not the 21. So as you can see right below here, the 21 Ultra it works. On the 21, no such functionality because this doesn't have the Wacom matrix built into the display. That's only available on the S21 Ultra right here and not on the S21. So as much as I try to use it, I cannot. It doesn't even recognize it. It doesn't recognize as a touch. As you can see, my screen was getting, was getting uh, darker there. So you can only do this on the Galaxy S21 Ultra, not the Galaxy S21. So S21 users, if you want to use the S Pen, you've got to buy the S21 Ultra and buy the S Pen separately as an accessory to use it. So hopefully that gives you guys a full idea of what the S21 Ultra is like with the S Pen. There are different functionalities you can use. Uh, you've got, of course, your S Notes and all the S Pen features. As we go back into our settings here, just take a quick, quick look at it all over again. We see that, of course, we can do quite a few things with the S Pen and uh, it's a fun tool to use. So if you have any questions or any comments, let me know. Otherwise, don't forget to like, share, and always enjoy your entertainment.